I feel good. The dogs are barking. Here is our Blazing Five. That's a hot one. Let's blaze it up. Fire it up. It's Collins Blazing Five. Browns and Ravens. My one favorite I like is Baltimore minus six and a half. They've led every game by ten points. It's a top five scoring offense, and their defense has a takeaway in eight straight games. But this game's about Cleveland. They're banged up on the O-line, banged up on defense, and Jacoby Brissett, the league's figured him out. Last three weeks, he's completing 55% of his throws. He's 0-3, and he's not always getting great protection. Also, Cleveland's defense, due to Miles Garrett, Denzel Ward, dinged up, They've been a terrible fourth quarter defense. The Ravens are furious. They believe they gave a game away last week. They come home and they beat convincingly 28-20 over the Browns. It will not be this close, though. They'll control the game. Packers at Commanders. You know, Green Bay may win, but I'm going to take the four and a half points. Taylor Heineke had a great game the last time he faced the Packers, and he's completed 75% of his throws in three of his last four home starts. He's a gamer. He can play. The Packers have their fewest points scored in any six-game span in Aaron Rodgers' history. And in second halves the last couple of weeks, they're a mess. David Bakhtiari's all banged up. Randall Cobb out. Christian Watson's got a hamstring issue. They have no second gear. And their defense is not pressuring the quarterback. They're the only team allowing opposing quarterbacks in the league to complete at least 70% of their passes. I think Washington, I'm going to take the points. I'll take the Packers and Aaron to make something happen late to win. But 27-24 Green Bay take the points. Jets said Broncos. Jets, I'll take the Jets plus one. They won't need it. They'll win outright. Listen, this this franchise, they've taken the ball to Zach Wilson's hands. He doesn't have any giveaways in five of his last six starts. And they're giving the ball to their running back, Bruce Brees Hall, who's great. 400 scrimmage yards the last three weeks. This is a defense run first team, and they've taken the ball out of Zach's hands to make mistakes. But the story of this team is defense. Last three weeks, gaining confidence, playing their butts off, and they will dominate a mess of an offensive line in Denver. Even when Denver moves the ball, they're atrocious in the red zone. Is it coaching? Is it Russell? Is it the O-line? I don't know what it is, but it is. So they're going to settle for field goals. Even when they move it, I take the Jets to win 24-23. I like their optimism, energy, and health right now. Chiefs at 49ers. I'm taking the Niners. They've won six straight home games, and Garoppolo is always better at home, and they're getting healthier. They're averaging 7.3 yards after the catch. That's best in the NFL. The Chiefs are not a great tackling team. But the Niners' defense is getting healthier, and they are money, baby. And in this game, I think Nick Bosa's back. Jimmy Ward could be back. The Chiefs have allowed three-plus touchdowns in five of six games, most in the NFL. This is a leaky defense. And I know, ah, they just lost to Buffalo. They lost to Buffalo because Buffalo on that game was a better team. San Francisco, though not completely healthy, at home is the better team here. And they beat the Chiefs 30-27. Seahawks at Chargers. It's an interesting one. I initially lean Chargers, but I'm going to take the Seahawks for a couple of reasons. We have to be honest here. Geno Smith is playing really well. 72% completion percentage, 13 touchdowns, two picks. This, with these new rookie tackles in Seattle, both are fantastic. Kenneth Walker, they have a run game that's two-tiered. And the Chargers, even when they've won three of their four wins, have come by less than six, so they're in a lot of close games. Justin Herbert got pressured 15 times last week. Their offensive line's still not completely healthy, and they're allowing almost six yards of play. I think it's a really wildly entertaining game that can go either way. But we've got to be honest here. These rookie offensive tackles for Seattle, Kenneth Walker, Rashad Penny, this offense now is for real. We've seen multiple weeks of it. We got a little we got a little upset here. I think the Seahawks win a wildly entertaining game. 28 to 24. I was talked into that yesterday. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.